Hello. This is Barry. I'm going to show uh, with you the current status of MTSP swap out and the swap in. And uh, I'm also going to show some interesting user case after we uh, enable MTSP swap out and swap in. Uh, so basically, well, basically, I start, I start from, from uh, uh, TSB swap out, which you actually create under Kyrie. We've already introduced the in the previous session. session. So, so basically, at the beginning, only PM PMD map to TSB uh, swap out uh, could be swap out to without splitting. Then Ryan extends to MTSP. Uh, but uh, then, then we, we, we reported report the uh, uh, fragmentation, fragmentation issue because in Ryan's case that, that we we have to get an empty swap cluster even for a uh, MTHP whose size is much much, much smaller than cluster. cluster. So, so so basically, if a cluster uh, is not empty. You can't can get, get it for MTHP swap part, even, even you have a lot of free swap, swap slots in the cluster. So in Kyrie and the uh, crash approach, we can actually use non-empty cluster for MTHP swap, swap part. So basically after apply, uh, Harry in the crash test set, we, we find the situation has improved quite a lot. But uh, eventually, for example, on a real phone, you win eventually after we after the phone has, has been running for a couple of hours, we still unlikely to get continuous swap slots for MTSP to swap out. So, so, so but the, the situation, situation has improved quite a lot. lot. Uh, uh, with with creation, the Kairos patch that we can actually absolutely work around the fragmentation issue by, for example, two JRAMs. One JRAM dedicated for small folio and the, the other one dedicated for large folio. This approach can, for example, make a small, a small folio, folio quarantine in one zeram, and then, then the small folio won't, won't, won't spread in a, a lot of zeram. So, so that large folio, folio can always swap out, out successfully. successfully. But uh, I'm not, a, yeah, yeah, so, so that's, that's what uh, we are using uh, for, for work around the, 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 the depth fragmentation issue. issue. Maybe, Maybe, and the uh, Chris has. You introduce some, some uh, other, other approach, approach in, in, in his, his session, session just, just a, a minute ago. And, uh, and, then, and then for TSP swap in, it's, it's quite, quite important, important to, to, uh, to, to, to to products like a Android, Android phone, phone because, because in, 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 in a phone, phone, more than, for example, 64, 60, 60% of a lot of memory can could be in swap. So right now, do swap page, for example, do swap page only support a small folio swapping. So once a large folio is swapped out, we lose it forever. So somehow we have to like get the large folio back in do swap page. So yeah, like Changhua like and me have been working on this, especially on synchronous I/O devices, and uh, we have got some patch and match previously in 6.11. For example, if we find a large folio in swap case, then do swap page will map the large folio found in swap case as a whole, and. Uh, and uh, recently, we have been also working on allocating and mapping MTSP in Dushua page, uh, but for synchronous I/O devices because we are uh, Android Android engineers, we 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 have only the environment to do the test on 
uh, Android phone, and um, the and the Android phone is probably a quite common use case because we have millions and millions of phone uh, in the market. So, but, uh, yeah, all the MTHP swap clean uh, depend on C swap is never enabled because C swap can't handle MTHP. Once C C swap has ever enabled, might a part of yeah a part of MTHP might be in C swap and the, some other parts is in the backend swap devices. So we can't MTHP swapping can't coexist with C swap. So this is probably the problem we need to fix uh, in the J swap team. And nothing. Oh, so after we enable MTHP swap on swap in, we have actually developed uh, some interesting user case. Yeah, so, yeah, for example, by us or by Intel. Yeah, we actually observed an uh, interesting phenomenon. For example, if if we if we do compression and the decompression using larger size, we can actually improve the compression ratio and also significantly reduce CPU consumption to do compression the decompression. For example, sometimes we saved 70% of CPU for like a compression decompression things. So that's why Tan Quan Tan Quan Zhen from our posting uh, has contributed a patch set which can make like this as malloc and Z run to compress larger objects and uh, save larger objects directly. For example, for a uh, 64 kilobytes large folio, this folio can be compressed uh, all together as one object. And uh, the object can be saved in this malloc directly. But for, for example, for an uh, MTHP whose order is five, then this Folio might be saved as two JS Mal uh, objects. So we have we don't have hardware engine to do compression and uh, decompression. That's what we observed by using CPU to do compression and decompression. And uh, using in Intel IAA hardware engine, NJ Glover contributed a patch set which can, for example, utilize the multiple hardware threads to compress and decompress. And then they have observed uh, like the CRAM write latency can improve 10 times and the CRAM rate latency can improve by seven times. So it's an uh, amazing user case. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as, as I mentioned earlier, like MTSP swapping can't coexist with C swap. But now we are seeing Kanchala from Inter is working on bring, bring up C swap swap out for MTSP, uh, for MTSP. And uh, his approach is iterating each sub page in a large folio and the like compression the store is server page one by one in ZS uh this what they put. So actually I wonder if it's possible also for ZSwap to do the same thing as we have we are doing in Z run. For example, if ZSwap can also save large objects, but not iterating each page. It might be 
better on performance, better. Yeah, maybe the first step we 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 can start from iterating to each page one by one. But uh, yeah, on, on on the other hand, I I I haven't seen anybody working on MTHP swapping support in G uh G G swap. So likely we have to resolve this problem if we want to support both yeah, this as well, this swap and the uh, MTHP swap swapping uh, together in the same system. So, yeah, finally, I have some open uh, questions. Like, uh, yeah, as as I mentioned earlier, we we are we only support synchronous I/O devices. So after we move to uh, like long synchronous I/O devices, what's the prop size for MTHP swapping might become a crucial question to answer. For example, if we if if we swap in in a too large size, maybe we are going to do extra and unnecessary. I/O, it, it can cause a huge read latency. So, so we have already a lot of discussion in the mail list. For example, uh, some people proposal the uh, adding per sub page read ahead flag. For example, for each sub page, we have a read flag, read ahead flag. And uh, we can use read ahead flag to determine the swapping size or even determine if we are going to do MTHP swapping. And uh, we have already tried to add a swapping enabled knob, which was obviously disliked by, uh, like, yeah, really, and uh, Christopher. And uh, recently, I'm considering if we can reuse the existing read ahead knob like uh, page class for 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 swapping read ahead we have already a existing page cluster which can define the maximum size for swapping so maybe we can combine page cluster and uh, the mtsp enabled the csfs control together to set the maximum size for MTHP swapping. I'm not sure if you guys would like it. And uh, some other consideration is, yeah, from like uh, Ryan's headset, maybe we, we need to consider the hardware architecture, architecture for example. example um, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm